Good day, Junior Dickies. I'm Mrs. Brimacombe. We're going to look at Chapter 1, Accounting Theory. It is so important for you to make sure that you understand accounting terminology. If you do not understand the terminology, you are going to feel lost. So make sure that you go through the accounting theory booklet and all these activities that we're going to do in Chapter 1 will focus exactly on the accounting terminology, understanding the basics. Activity 1 will focus on completing a crossword puzzle. First, we're going to look at completing all the answers across and then we're going to look at completing all the answers down. So the first question, people who work for the business. People who work for the business is called employees. Question number four, cash register is classified as an current asset. Question eight, the principle states that the owner's personal finances must be kept separate from the business. So this answer contains two words. This is called the business entity principle. Anything that the owner takes for personal use must be recorded as drawings. And the principle that we apply is the business entity principle. Question number nine. A business that could have 2 to 20 owners, this is called a partnership. It is important to understand that there is a difference between form of ownership and the type of business. When we're talking about the form of ownership, we're talking about either a sole trader, a partnership, a company. But when we're talking about different types of businesses, we're talking about a service business, a trading concern, or a manufacturing business. So one of the characteristics of a partnership is that the business could have a minimum of two and 20 owners. Question number 12, this principle states that every transaction affects two accounts. And this is so important to understand this principle, which is called the double entry principle. For every debit, there is a corresponding, the same amount, credit entry. Question number 13. Shareholders are the owners of the business. When we're talking about shareholders, we're talking about form of ownership, which is called a company. The shareholders are the owners of that specific business. Looking at all the questions down. Question number two earns an income for producing goods. This is called a manufacturing business. It's a different type of business. Question number three, a business that only has one owner. And again, we're using two words to answer this question. And this forms part of forms of ownership. A characteristic of a business that only has one owner is called a sole trader. Question number five, Income minus expenses, this is called profit. Number six, a person or business to whom we owe money to. So when we owe money to somebody else as a business, that will be called creditors. Number seven, a person or business that owes us money. And when we're talking about us, we're talking about our business, people who owe our business money. They are called debtors to the business. Number 10, a type of business that earns an income by buying and selling goods. This type of business is called a trading business. So in grade eight, the focus is going to be on a service business and in grade 10, oh, sorry, in grade nine, the focus is going to be on a trading business. So the next question, a business that performs work or offers expertise, that is a service business which we will focus on in grade eight. Our main income from services rendered is called fee income or another word that we can use, current income. Thank you very much. When you have a dream, you've got to grab it and never let go. Hope you have a wonderful day.